Welcome to Superstruct Builds. I'm Dustin. Today we're going to test out the new EPA approved aircraft paint stripper. We're going to see how it handles this four layer mess of spray paint and factory paint. Let's see how it does. Well, it may not be necessary, but we're going to give this whole section a quick sand with 40 grit sandpaper just to give this uh, stripper a little bit of a chance to dig in. First steps here are going to be gloves, eyewear. It says to use a metal bowl, which I don't have, so actually it already ripped out one of the corners. So buffed it up a little bit and now we have ourselves a metal bowl. goes. I'm just using a kind of a jump brush line around the shop here. Now let's start brushing it on. They say the fumes in this are actually heavier than air, so for that reason they want you to start brushing this. Ooh, that is fuming. <laughs> okay, it's going to be a respirator job. Much better. Oh, here we go. I think it's supposed to go on pretty thick. I saw Budget Builds do this on a Porsche bumper this week, and I had kind of given up on this more safe version of the product. But it seemed like it worked for him on his bumper, and thought it would be worth giving a try here.
Well, you can see some of the blue is already coming up on the brush. Take that as a good sign. All right. Wash this brush out with some mineral spirits. Now we let this sit for 45 minutes and we'll come back and see how it looks. sandpaper got hit and so I think that really did loosen it up about halfway through I took a plastic scraper and kind of dug it this little bit looks like it made some decent progress so let's see wow nothing So 
little goop here. I don't know if the goop is a metric or not. Yeah, it's much better. Let's see if the plastic one will take any of this off. There you have it. I'm not impressed. This was two coats, two 45 minute soaking sessions, multiple scrapes, even using a metal scraper, which kind of in my mind defeats the purpose of using a chemical stripper. I'm supposed to be not gouging at the metal. Um, it did take off the blue spray paint and it did take off the white and green spray paint in some places but it just did not really even touch the factory paint, which maybe I'm asking too much to go through that many layers, but for 20 bucks and a couple hours here, it's just, it doesn't seem like a good use of time when uh, you know, I could have this all off with a flat disc or really just about anything else in the same amount of time. So on that one, Thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and I will bring you lots more videos like this as well as some more real work getting done on this bus. Thanks.